Intel is in the home stretch of development for the latest version of its Thunderbolt interface standard, Thunderbolt 5. Built atop the ubiquitous USB-C connector, Thunderbolt is the most versatile data port available, combining reliable data transfer speeds, incredible support for high-resolution displays, and pass-through charging, all in one port. At OWC, we are the Thunderbolt experts. We've been here since Thunderbolt 1 and will be first to market with Thunderbolt 5. As you'd expect, we've already begun working on implementing Thunderbolt 5 into new products, and we're so excited about what this new technology is capable of that we wanted to share a few things about it. While previous generations of Thunderbolt were based on PCIe Gen 3, Thunderbolt 5 is based on updated USB and DisplayPort standards and PCIe Gen 4. With this new chipset architecture, Thunderbolt 5 enables the creation of no compromise devices. No compromise today. It's worth pointing out that through a lot of very thoughtful and painstaking engineering, OWC already offers no compromise Thunderbolt devices today. Thanks to the flexibility of Thunderbolt 3 chipset, we can make those things possible. Take the OWC Thunderblade, for instance. This is a speedy external Thunderbolt drive with transfer speeds up to 2800 megabytes per second. But it also has an extra Thunderbolt port on the back, allowing you to connect via a daisy chain up to five more Thunderbolt devices to it. We've also taken this approach with our Thunderbolt 3 docks. In our Thunderbolt Pro dock, we combine the Thunderbolt 3 chipset with our own custom chipset to create a device that's not only capable of connecting a display, three USB-A devices, one USB-C device, and an SD card, but it also supports 10 gig ethernet and has a built-in CF Express reader. In other words, you don't need to wait for Thunderbolt 5 to get a no compromise Thunderbolt solution. OWC has you covered today and in the future. Getting back to Thunderbolt 5 improvements, when the latest version of the standard debuts, it will double the amount of available bi-directional bandwidth from the 40 gigabits per second found on Thunderbolt 3 and 4 devices to 80 gigabits per second. Doubling the available data bandwidth will provide more headroom for data-hungry devices such as Thunderbolt drives and high-resolution displays. Speaking of displays, Thunderbolt 5 will support DisplayPort 2.1 connectivity and will allow for up to 120 gigabits per second of unidirectional bandwidth. This flex from 80 gigabits per second to 120 gigabits per second of bandwidth is implemented when Thunderbolt 5 detects video intensive usage. According to Intel, this bandwidth flexing is made possible to how Thunderbolt 5 allocates bandwidth. Finally, Thunderbolt 5 will also enable devices to supply up to 240 watts of available power, more than double the amount currently possible. Devices that choose to provide this amount of power would supply much more available juice for powering and or charging connected devices. More good news around Thunderbolt 5 is it should be backwards compatible with both Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4, including support for Thunderbolt cables that are already available today, up to 1.8 meters in length. We will be sure to provide an update on backwards compatibility as we find out more information. So when is Thunderbolt 5 coming? The first Thunderbolt 5 products are expected to launch next year, 2024, and no one is more excited about the possibilities that Thunderbolt 5 will bring than everyone here at OWC. 